Okay guys, welcome back to RTI Imperium Serectum and our Roman campaign. We have invaded Sicily, and why not? I've heard it's a beautiful place. Of course, I wouldn't invade it. I would fly there if I had the money. But I can understand why the Romans invaded it. It's just a short hop over from the toe of Italy. And we captured Tindarus in the last episode. We put uh, Taromeni on. Kind of sounds like a Gondorian king, doesn't he? Uh, under siege. And we're about to put Katane under siege. We know where the Syracusan faction heir is. He's in there. In fact, uh, we probably split those up. So we can put two of them under siege. That'll force their remaining forces to come out after one of us. Uh, I guess we're at an end turn. What about our agents? Nope, they've been moved. Not, uh, nothing else to do, I don't think. Except turn my timer on. Uh, we do have a thunderstorm ongoing. Well, we have thunder outside. Obviously a better place to have it outside than inside, but uh, it's getting close. So hopefully we can get this one finished. It's not looking like we're going to get any campaigns finished in April at this rate. Um, well, I tell a lie. Well, maybe I tell a lie. Um, World of Warcraft, not Warcraft, uh, Warcraft Total War. The Scarlet Crusade campaign might be finished in April. Maybe. We're making good progress uh, against the Scourge faction. We've got them on the back foot. The only thing that's going to slow us down is their scripted garrison armies. Right, they recruited at least one unit in Syracuse. I saw their banner increase. least one unit yeah I think that was the one they got all right he's still in there he's got three units okay that's gonna be enough to keep him busy ah they've taken that one as well all right at least now we know and they've got a lot of troops out there. General, and that's where the faction leader is. Okay, uh, we're going to be overmatched temporarily. Until we can get some more troops down. Which we are doing. <coughs> we're getting some more troops down. Uh, actually, what we can do... We can take you, you, you... Actually, what we'll do is this, make it more organized, and get there, put you were under siege, he did not open the gates, what we can then do is move them around, And then next time we'll move them out because there's only one unit there. Now we can move those ones over to him. Right, actually okay with that, aren't they? Uh, they can't reach him. Right. I think we have been recruiting though. These ones for the moment have to go all the way to Rome. The cavalry has to go all the way to Rome. You don't. You can go up in there. Although you can't reach them. You have to go up. Up there. All down. That's a Syracusan diplomat there. 
Right, we've got a bunch of units who are going to come over to Rome for retraining. Lucanians. Yeah, we've got a couple of units. Alright, we have three births, which is good. Lots of people gone to war. Now that's directly affecting us. Alright, still working on our economy. We do need that. So we get our own culture in. And then let's go and visit our diplomats. Yes. We'll find the Yulu guy. There they are. A most generous proposal. A most generous proposal. Indeed. You're going to go and find some Kimbri. They're up there. I know it. There they are. I shall speak to them at once. A most generous proposal. Again, most of these people we're only going to be able to trade with. I see. A most generous proposal. I know, right? We've got diplomat in Iberia. A most generous proposal. And now you've got lots of money, at least for now. A most generous proposal. Indeed. And there should be one more, right? Ah, oh, two more. There should be a faction out here. Trapezos. But it doesn't look like they're out here. There they are. Hiding down there. Uh, modern day Sevastopol? Maybe? A most generous proposal. They also have boundless wealth. Must be nice for some people. A most generous proposal. Alright, what kind of units do they have? Alright, uh, mostly Greeks. They have their own type of hoplite now. Alright, now Bosporans. Or Bosporans. A most generous proposal. A most generous proposal. Well, we are getting map info that we can sell later. You're in. Oh, oh I almost read that as Dino Syria. Like dinosaur. <laughs> yes, it's Dion Syria. That would have been funny, wouldn't it? Seasoned diplomat. Well seasoned. Lots of herbs and spices. Right, those are almost certain to come after us. You are building rams, aren't you? Yes. And you're building rams, aren't you? Yes. And you're building rams. Yes. And you're building rams. Yes. I mean, we could build more, but five should be enough. What's your population? 2,400, 4,100, 4,000, 2,200. But that's the big one. 12,500, 3% growth. Wow. Is that a mercenary unit? It is. 
mercenary Peloponnesian hoplites. How did they get them? I think that's the one they recruited in. Isn't it? Keep an eye on their banner, see if it goes up. Yeah, what we want to do is split up the Syracusan forces. We might lose one, two, maybe even three small battles, but I think we can take some settlements. We've got four under siege. Uh, we're going to put a couple more under siege. Even if we lose a few of those battles, we'll still end up taking some of their settlements, wearing them down. The only problem is getting our Roman units from uh, central Italy down here. We're going to have to rely on a lot of Greek units, I think, or Hellenic. Now oh, they kicked my spy out, and they did move that army over, but they didn't actually attack anyone. Okay, the Paphlagonians have been wiped out. They never catch a break. Right, what I'm going to do with you is put you in here. They only had one unit. Looks like they've got two now. Again, mercenaries. Ah, I was going to try and split up your forces. Can you take them now? I want to put you there because you'll take the most casualties and the cheap to replace. Oh, yeah, should be able to order us all that. Right, they're not particularly happy. I'm going to enslave them. And again, we've got to destroy their buildings. Yeah, they got a ship there, or two ships actually. Whereas we have no navy. It's going to take four, and that will allow us to get units. Right. Order. Got a couple more units ready. The one from there. We can get our metallic allies to come on down. Now, those rebels have held off attacking us, which is good, so far. Well, oh, push down as far as you can. Right. And we've got all of those. I mean, those are literally only two coins more. Another child is born. Awaiting your command. Without delay. Without delay. I've uh, never been able to, able to get to Britain. It takes so long to travel all the way around or to capture settlements up here that would not actually have access to ships. Your I shall speak with them at once. A most generous proposal. 
No, they're bankrupt. The most generous proposal. Oh, you only have there, blue guy. We've talked to those. It should be the chatty out there. I'm sure they'd want to have a little talk with us. No pun intended. Oh, we don't even trade with the Salukids. Well, we do now. Yeah, they hate sharing that map info. A most generous proposal. More troops, more troops. Oh, we can now get um, Talik, Javcav down here. Good. We won't have to recruit up in Rome for our cavalry anymore, I don't think. And I do like my slingers. They put out a lot of damage for what you pay. Oh, you can get a bunch of units as well. Yeah, we're not going to recruit a Rome anymore. I'm going to cancel that then. Okay. You can also get units now. Oh, getting low on money. Getting very low on money. We're going to have to go and capture some other places. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That one's going to fall in three. He's going to have to go somewhere. What do they have? All right, a lot of range and a lot of hoplites. Although they have fairly short range. Level for six. I wouldn't want to order resolve that one. Can we move those out? We can, can't we? All right, he did not open the gate there. They now have five units. Again, they're going to have to decide where they go. All right, I'm going to make 17,000. We're going to have to enslave a lot of people to get our settlements growing. I think now in Rome Remastered, the slaves get spread out evenly between your settlements. In the original Rome Total War, they got spread out between um, settlements that had governors. So many factions to play as. 
we have to put the next campaign up to a faction vote but I can only put down five factions in the uh, YouTube poll so I'll just have to choose diverse ones and no I actually accepted that in a personal Rome campaign and as soon as I accepted them as my protectorate they went to war with me until next time dirty people I think I paid them two or three thousand and they literally in the intern went to war with me they broke being a protectorate Oh, that's where they've gone. They've gone after Tindaris. Ah, what, how were they able to... Alright, that looks like he's playing a flute, doesn't it? <laughs> I've got a screenshot there. That does look like he's playing a flute. <laughs> um, unless they had a spy in there. Pretty sure the gates were... Fixed, weren't they? All right. Well, we're going to try to kill them. We might have to withdraw to the town center. Yeah, I mean they don't have elephants. They don't have artillery. In fact, from what I've seen, it's very hard to get artillery. Um, at least very early on. I'm not sure which factions can get it the earliest maybe Syracuse I haven't actually encountered because um, I've been playing a lot of personal campaigns on this version I've not encountered anyone that's had artillery of any shape or form alright the gates were open they are not damaged not there oh no volcanic eruption Volcanic eruption. Right. I don't see a broken wall section. I do not see a broken gate. Sometimes there'll be a broken wall section and they won't be on that side of the settlement, but I don't think there is any. So, um, Unless it was a spy, how are they able to get in? Hmm? What up with that? Right, they're almost certainly going to come up through here. I will put you over here, just in case. And we'll just speed it all up. <clears throat> but uh, wouldn't you have gotten a message saying the enemy spy has opened the gate or something? They don't appear to be moving that quickly. We've got 850 men. And defeat is a distinct possibility. Alright, they've reached the gate. So again... They are knocking it down with a ram, so they didn't have a spy open it. So how were they able to attack me in the intern like that? Hmm? Somebody explain that. Somebody explain that to me. No elephants, no artillery, no spies. They besieged and attacked all in the same turn right slow it down where it will but put you on guard mode kind of want to save some of that ammunition why aren't you firing fire Oh, it's going to get be annoying, is it? You going to fire? 
Because you're taking damage, aren't you? Come on, they're definitely in range. We are losing percentage wise. Attack! I thought I saw enemy units coming down here, but I guess not. Oh, yes, there they are. Greek slingers who are not standing off and firing. They are wearing their way through. That's their general. An actual general. Those are almost out of ammo. I'll have them come and mop up the Greek slingers. Because they'll be able to catch up to them. Get off from. Might be able to kill there. General. Because he's pretty much in range. Come on, get after them. Come on, push through. We got more men. Ah, we got him. We got him. And that unit's broken. Can we break them? I mean, they are hoplites. They're going to have a lot of defense. They're going to kill a lot of the enemy. I'm almost tempted to send them around, but even though they're velites, they're going to be tired, aren't they? With a long way to go. Oh, making progress against them. Facing the wrong way. Still had some javelins. Kill that standard by a uh, bearer. Nope, they've got one of my men surrounded there. Ah. It was my general. He was there. All right, they're chipping away at the walls, wearing my defenses down. Blast them! All right, we're almost certainly going to lose. Killed almost five hundred though. Right, we're close to the end of the video, so I'll just speed it up. Alright, maybe they'll get buried in volcanic ash. I did kill their general, so that's one thing. Artemidorus of Syracuse.
Keep pushing forwards. Can we run the timer down for another 30 minutes? Probably not. Stop. Throw your javelins. There you go. Flying right by my face. Ah, that's cool design on the shields, isn't it? Ah, oh, you still got javelins? Killed 28%. That's good going. We've lost 450. Alright, not much more is going to happen except for what's already going on. They will, of course, rally at the town centre. Because they have nowhere else to go. We're actually pushing them back, aren't we? Yeah. Those Prinkapays are doing a good job. Alright, 36%. I mean, they've got very good defense on them. Alright, now you're out of ammo. Alright, it's pretty much all over now. Almost 40%. Those ones are shaken. Mm, Could a thousand. They'll get some replenishment back now. Making them work for it, though. You know what, if we had maybe two more units, I think we could have beat them. We could have beat them. Like I said, we're going to lose a couple battles. Uh, we've lost Tindarus, but again, I think they've somehow cheated me. But maybe we can besiege them in Tindarus. 47% and they're still fighting All right, 11 minutes to go we've only got 23 men 22, 20, 19, 18 
Yeah, they're just using their missiles to wipe us out now. Yep. Prinkapay was the last man. Alright, so they did get a lot of replenishment. We killed their general. And hopefully we can besiege them. That would be the bulk of their troops in there. Somebody explain to me how they captured it though. They built the rams in the end turn. As soon as they arrived there. We will prepare to ambush. Yep, no damage to the walls, as far as I can see. Nope. So again, how did that happen? Lots of wars going on. Uh, we are at the uh, end turn point. So we will end it right there.